Hi Stampers, this is Dawn Stock with StampingWithDawn.com. I have something a lot of fun to show you today. Stampin' Up! I don't know if you guys remember, it's been a couple of years they did this great tree set and they made it available for one month only. Well for demonstrators we're actually able to have it available for two months because we can pre-order it so that we can play with the items and make up some samples and that kind of fun stuff. Well, I got it and I ordered it and I've been playing with it like crazy. And the best part about this is it is now available for demonstrators during the month of July and it will be available for all customers the month of August. Now, when I showed this over the weekend at my Copy and Cards class, it was a big hit. This is the card that we actually made, and it uses Flirty Flamingo on this. And what we did was, and I'm going to pull this up here so you guys can see this in here. We colored, there's some new pencils coming. Let me see if you can see that in there. There's some new pencils coming. We used the Flirty Flamingo, and then this is a new set of framelits, and I'm going to come up here really close, so I hope that you guys can see. See that stitching on there? Wait until you see what happens when we play with this. This is going to be a thing called, here's the first page of the flyer, it says Color Your Season, and it has a stamp set, and they gave us a couple little pictures of samples on here. And I'm going to show you the other part of the flyer, which has the stamp set. Now, this artwork is shown at 60%, so it's a little bit smaller than what it is actually. This is the real size of it here. Then they have a little picture of the framelits, and then we have the watercolor pencils, and they've bundle priced it. So, of course, being the, the nerd that I am, I went ahead and ordered it. So here is the stamp set, and it's two sets on here. Oh, my friend Betty's on there. Hi, Betty. This is the two set, or I'm sorry, it's two cases, and I got the clear mount. It is also available in wood. Hi, Jill. My friend Jill just joined us too. But this is available also in the wood as well as the clear mount. So you can see I haven't even put it all together. I mean, that's how much I've been playing with it. Um, I just, I haven't had a chance to. So you can see which ones I actually have put together on there. And then these are the framelits, and I got to show this to you. I'm going to show you the framelits, and then I'm going to show you up close of the paper. And then I'm going to actually make this card, the one that I showed you there. It is such a pretty card. And spoiler alert, anybody who places a $50, $50 order using this host code this month, which guys, don't forget, they've got that buy three, get one free for the designer series paper. You will receive one of these cards as your thank you card. Right now it is blank on the inside and that's exactly how you will receive it. I always put a sticky note on the inside so that way then you're able to use um, the card for your personal use. You've got a, a handmade card all ready to go. But check this out. These are the thinlets on here. And I'll pull back out the stamp set. But it has a couple little flourishes, some flowers with some um, little leaves on ivy in there. Hi Carol. This is a really pretty... Um, framelit for a leaf. I know it's very similar to the Colorful Seasons, which is in the big catalog. This is a little bit smaller and it's a little bit skinnier, so you could have two sets of leaves. I mean, they're really pretty. This right here, I'm going to show you what that one is in a minute, but it has a really pretty bow. Can you guys see that for the pretty bow along in there? And then it's got a little bit of a leaf with the uh, stamens on it. This one right here is this right here, which we did in the Granny Apple Green. So that's what that one is. And it's got another little flourish there, so you can make all, um, several flourishes at a time. And then it's got three layers of this for the framelit. Now I'm gonna pull this one off. You guys know when it comes, they've got it down there on that. And let me pull up a piece of paper so you can see. I'm gonna pull this in close. Can you guys see here? There are two sets of stitching on there. There's the dots on this side, and then it's got the center line that cuts out, and then it's got the dots on the other side. So what happens on this, and it's several different sizes, when you stamp this here, it shows the stitched pieces on this, and then let me pull out my little sample, because of course I've got a zillion samples to show here, because I'm gonna show you how cool this is. Watch this, this is like the coolest thing. We just got back from dropping our son off to um, Boy Scout camp. So let me pull this off to the side. Remember the, the framelit here? This is the largest one. I used the medium sized one on this. So here is this. 
and when you punch it out can you guys see on here it's got stitching on that side as well as stitching on here and it fits in there like that but it double stitches on there so the um it's actually called let me find it again oh of course i set it aside oh i'm right here um but it stitches on both sides of it so when you take this part out you now have a stitching on this so you can use that for a tag or for um, a background for a mounting or anything like that and i'm going to show you what i did with that too um, spoiler alert anybody that's coming on saturday for my little retreat you're going to see this right here so i do i am going to give you guys a little sneak peek of that but this is really the coolest thing and again we use the medium size one on it it is called stitched seasons framelits oh i know carol this is absolutely beautiful the only way you can get it right now is as a demonstrator and for those of you who have not seen yet on um the stampin up website you can join now for $99. You get $125 worth of merchandise, so you're getting $26 free right off the bat. You're getting free shipping, which is your 10%, so basically 10 bucks. And right now they're giving you that free color family for $67.50. Basically, you're getting $203 worth of stuff for $99 plus tax. But because only demonstrators can order this, and I'm gonna put this up here so you guys can see. This right here is the item number. The wood mount is item number 149893. It's 7725. Or the clear mount bundle is 149894 for 6475. There's a limit of one. You guys can pre order this as part of your starter kit. So if you're thinking about joining, I'm not kidding you guys, this is like the best time to join. I'll put my link on there so you can see if you want to join under my team. I would absolutely love that. Or if you already have a demonstrator, please. Sign up with your demonstrator. I'm not kidding you guys. This is like the best deal since sliced bread. So, okay. Without further ado, you've seen the stamp set real quick. I'm going to set that up there. You've seen how this punches out. So I'm going to set that up right here. You've seen the card. And then, oh, the thinlets. That's what I wanted to show you. This little one here. I'm going to pull that up so you can see. Are you ready for this? You're going to love this. Ready? Let me see if I do this the right way. It is, nope, I put it on backwards. I always do that. Check that out. So you can uh, stamp that bell and then do a thinlet on it. How cute would that be on a Christmas card with the holly and the ivy there? And then it's got the leaves. It's got a thank you, wishing you all the best. And isn't that a pretty script for the Merry Christmas? And then let me put this back because I don't know about you guys. These little thinlets, they tend to grab legs and just walk out of there. So there was that one. And then this is the other one. You're the friend everyone wishes they had. I just miss you. Congrats. And then it's got a pretty leaf, which we're going to use that one. It's got the wheat. And then it's got a nice flower size on here. And I'm going to show you that's the one we're going to use as well. So I'm going to set the stamp sets aside. I'm going to set the thinlets aside. And, oh, watercolor pencils. You guys saw here on the flyer, there's a new set of watercolor pencils on here. It's a set of 10, and it comes in 10 of the new colors. Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Coastal Cabanal, Cabana, Crush Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Night of Navy. All great colors, and it's going to be $12.50. Again, only demonstrators can get this right now. And they have told us that this may, everybody, may, do the air quotes, may be available in a future publication. I don't know about you guys. If you like any of those colors, order them now. And again, right now, only demonstrators can get it. Everybody else can get it beginning August 1st. Okay, here's what the uh, pencils come in like this. And for those of you um, who've been customers of mine for a while, you've seen me do this. I keep my watercolor pencils in a thin clear mount case. And check it out. They all still fit in here. It's tight. It's very, very tight. But the ones that are in the big catalog, as well as those new ones, are all in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I want Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, what was the other colors I used? Rich Razzleberry, and there was two other ones. Oh, the yellows. I used Daffodil Delight, and then Crush Curry. And everybody, I hate Crush Curry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say hate. It is Sunday. Hate's a very strong word. It is my least favorite color of all of the colors in the Stampin' Up! family. So those are the colors I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set that here. I'm going to take my Big Shot and my Thinlets, and I'm going to crank this through. Pretend it's cranked through, right? So this comes over here. Then I am going to, now this is where you're going to want to watch how to do this because guys, this is what's going to make it so much easier for you. 
what you are going to do is you're going to take a piece of the I have very vanilla here and you're going to line it up onto here the easiest way I have found is to put it underneath like this and you're just going to kind of eyeball it you're not putting any adhesive on it anything like that you're just eyeballing it and then you're going to hold it and flip it over and then using just a regular pencil just a regular pencil you are then going to oops let me line that up here you're going to take your regular pencil and you're just going to trace around on this you're just going to do it very lightly but you're doing this to make it a little bit easier for you so that way then you can see where your stamped image is going to be for the cutout that's all you're doing you guys see how I did that part there so you've got that that's the easiest way to do it and if you're making multiples you want to make sure you keep them with it so like on this one there's I'm just going to put an A right up here in the top corner and then I'm going to, this is my front that went right on it, I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to put an A up here. This just helps you when you're doing assembly lines so that way then you can keep track of which one goes with which. So this is how it looks here. Then what you're going to do, because you guys all know we got rid of the archival black for the stamp pad, so um, this is how I mark mine. If you ever come to my classes, I always put the arrow up so it makes it easier and I just put that it's black. That's the color that they're using. We're using the Memento ink. And if you've not played with the Memento ink stamp pad, I'm just going to give you a heads up on it. There's a little um, recessed area on this and with the bigger stamp, you always want to hold your stamp upside down and you take this. And because this is like the old felt type, I just kind of rub it around on that and then I just pat it so I make sure there's plenty of ink on it. Alright, so now I've got my ink on here, and now that I know where this is going to be showing, now I can line this up, because see if I, let me hold it here, see if I do it over here and it's too far away, it's not going to be within the pencil image. I want more of the flowers to show, so I'm going to set that there, and actually I'm going to camp that sideways a little, and I'm going to press down, and on these bigger stamps like this, this bigger block, you can't really sit down on it guys you're gonna have to like stand up and press into it and kind of put some oomph into it okay so you're just gonna leave it there and press down doesn't work well on a folding table either FYI so now I've got it there and I pick it up okay so this part is done I'm gonna put that back in my case there and set that aside so here you can see where the pencil mark is on here so you can see where that's gonna be I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. So that's while that's drying, I'm going to take my Flirty Flamingo stamp pad. And remember, these are like compacts. So you open it up just like a compact. And then for classes, I slide it in. And I always write the name on it anymore because they're just getting uh, kind of messy anymore. So on the piece that I had already stenciled onto there, and remember I've got my A, so I know which side is the upside. I'm just taking this little leaf one and I'm just going to do a little bit of, here let me flip this over because I don't have a pad of paper there. And all you're going to do is you're going to stamp here and I'm just going to put a little bit of flowers onto that or the leaves onto that and I'm going to do the same thing down here. Now, my friend Faye, if she watches this, uh, there's a gentleman at our church, and he's in his 90s, a sweetheart of a nice man. Um, she made him a card, and you guys always know, we always joke, Stampin' Up! gives us double-sided paper. So if you make a mistake on this side, you can always flip it over and do it on here. Well, you can see on this time I can't because I stamped on the back. Bless her heart, my friend Faye made a card for um, Charlie. I'm going to call him out on this, Charlie at, work, at church. Charlie got her birthday card last year. He literally took it all apart and saw that she'd made a boo-boo on the other side and called her out on it. Can you believe that? I told her if he did that to me, I would be like, Charlie, give me back the card. I don't know about you guys. And then you flip it over, close it up. We're done with this for right now. So you can see this is on here like this. That's how that's going to go. The next thing you're going to do on this if you don't have these, you can get these at any office supply store. I'm sure you can get them at like Walmart or any of the big box stores. These are the white erasers. Sometimes you can buy the old white erasers. The pink ones don't work, but this is just a nice pen size one and it retracts. So that way then I can keep it in with my pens. You want a white eraser so that that way then you can erase the white or the pencil mark on here. And all you're going to do is just go along on it. 
and I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see. This is, can you guys see how that one's going away now? I don't know if you can see on the lighting on that. But it's along in here, and with the pencil, it just erases it. But you have to give a second for the ink to dry. There we go. And then I just go along and erase this like here. Then what you're going to do, oops, got one running there, guys. All right, so we've got all the pencil marks off. Nope, a little bit there. And it's okay if some remain because hopefully that you're going to line it up, but you want to try to get them off as much as you can. There. See, no pencil mark. It's like it was never there. Again, these white erasers are absolutely wonderful. I get them like two or three for, I don't know, they're like under five bucks. Again, go to your big box store. That's where you get them. So I've got this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green. I'm going to start with that, and this is one of the new pencils on this, okay? You can tell we use the daylights out of this. Can you see how it's not sharp anymore? And all I did was I just went along in here, and I colored these directly. And then I colored over in here, and I colored in there, colored down here. And I know this part's not going to show, but because of the window being here like that, because I popped out of this up, I used dimensionals on this. If somebody wants to look in there, I want to make sure it covers all the way. So I go through and I color all of these in here. Color all of my little leaves. Okay, I'm ready, everybody. Be like the um, Elizabeth Montgomery on Bewitched and twitch your nose and twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Boom, look at that. You've got it all colored, right? So with that, I'm now done with my Granny Apple Green, so I'm going to set that one aside. Then the next part that I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and again, this is a new color, a new pencil, which is the Garden Green. Oh, my friend Ann just said, yes, she loves this bundle. I know, Ann, isn't this beautiful? Again, it's not sharp because we've been using the daylights out of it. To give a little bit of blending on here, see how it's got the different colors in there? All you're going to do is you're going to sit here at the bottom and you're just kind of going to make a little starburst onto it. Can you see how that is on there like that? You don't have to do a lot on it, but you're just going to sit here like this. Let's see if I can get that in there. I'm getting a little glare, so I hope you guys are seeing it. I'm just coloring down here like that in the bottom. It's just enough on the bottom, and you're just going to go through on that. And then on these, on the larger leaves, and I'm going to set this down here. I just went along on the lines. That was the easiest way for me on here, was I did the lines. Can you guys see how that's all coming along in there? Okay, and then where the point is down here, you just kind of kind of fan it out like that. And it's just a light touch on there. But see how it gives it a little bit of dimension? It's just an easy way to color. This would also work with your blends, with your markers, with your watercolor pencils, which is what we're using, your blender pens, your aqua pen. I mean, guys, you have so many choices on your coloring mediums. It's just wonderful. So you're going to go along. on each one of those. So I'm now done with this and everybody twinkle your nose. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Boom. And now we've got the next one. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now on this one, you can see I didn't wait till it was dry. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't wait till it was dry. So the ink kind of ran there. On this one, I'm going to take the Flirty Flamingo. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Flirty Flamingo, and on here, we're going to do the lines on the flowers. So on this one, we're just going to go along on here. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. And then I'm going to go up along on the center, or I'm sorry, on the sides, just so that way then it gives a little bit of definition to the flowers. And you're going to go all the way around on each of the flowers. And remember, part of this is going to be underneath, so you don't have to color all of it. You'll remember where your pencil marks were. So I'm just going around. You can see, if you, um, when you color, you want to move the paper. You don't move you. You just move the paper around. <clears throat> I know, coloring is just fascinating, isn't it? But 
the ladies on Saturday when they played with this, it was so relaxing. The table that I'm at right now is actually the table that they used. And this was the card that took the longest because we used so many different colors on it. So you can see how the pink is down in there. You're going to do that with each of the flowers. So ready? Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. And boom, you've got all your pink done on here. You can see I colored in the pink on each of these little flowers too. So that way then it makes it nice. And I'm going to set aside my flirty flamingo. If you don't know this already, one of the kits in the catalog already has a flirty flamingo pencil in it. So if you've already got that one, you've already got it. It's the one with the lavender. So now that I've got the pink all done on all of these, I'm now going to take my rich razzleberry. Let's see if you got it in there, the rich razzleberry. And what we're going to do is the same thing as what we did on the green. So now you're just going to kind of give a little bit of a, a flare there just to give a little bit of color onto the pink here. And then in here, what I did was I just came along on the bottom and where the, the lines are, I just ran up a little bit there. So you can see here how it gives a little bit of definition. So you're just making it look kind of 3D. And you're just going to go along on that. And again, I do the, the little lines. Oh, coloring is just so nice. We took our son. He's uh, gone for a week now for Boy Scout camp. So the house already seems very, very empty. I mean, it's just very quiet. And my mom is up visiting from Florida and she went to her sister's. So it's just me and the dog right now. The house is so eerie quiet. I never... You know, I know he's growing up and, you know, I know I only have him for a very short time. He's not mine. He belongs to God. I get that. But I kind of like having him around. It's kind of nice. He comes into my craft room every now and again. And, you know, he's 16, so he's too cool to, you know, spend a lot of time with mom. But he'll come in and he'll just like pat me on the shoulder while I'm while I'm working. It's kind of our thing. It's kind of fun. And it always puts a smile to my face. So while I'm usually working, I'm like, oh, man, now Joshua's not here. So the boy is what we always call him. So there, can you see the difference between that light, or I'm sorry, that dark with the rich razzleberry and then the light down here? It's not a huge difference, but again, it just makes it a little bit more colorful. So now that we're done with the rich razzleberry, we're going to go click and ready. But um, look at that. See how pretty I just, and I didn't even have to use my magic box, huh? So now that I've got that, I'm going to take my two new yellows, or I'm sorry, my new yellow crushed curry, ugh and my Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna take the Daffodil Delight, and I'm just gonna color all these little center pieces in here. I'm just, it's literally, I'm just coloring the whole center. I'm not doing each individual little circle. I'm just coloring the big center of it here like this. So once that's done, oh, that's already done, so I don't have to do. Then I'm going to take, this is the new Crush Curry, and again, Crush Curry. Oh, my friend Joyce is there. Hi, Joyce, I hope you got those cards I sent you, by the way. Here's the Crush Curry, and on this, all you're going to do is you're just going to kind of put a little, like, dot, for lack of a better term, or just a little line on the bottom. And again, what you're trying, because these are so little, you're just adding a little bit of depth, a little bit of dimension onto these. So all you're going to do is go along like this and just kind of put in some extra color on it. See, this part I hadn't done, so I do have to do this part. So now that that's done, that was kind of on the fly. We'll leave that one. So there, that one's done like that. All I'm going to do, and see, I put a number five on these because, like I said, I'm, I'm working on several of these right now because I always make extras from my card classes. So here is the one, and again, remember how I have this five up here? I have a number five on that one. You're going to want to take your dimensionals, and I didn't have my minis in front of me, so I grabbed my regular size, and I just cut them in half. Because if I would have just put one here in the center, it wouldn't, I wanted them spaced out a little bit better. So use your mini dimensionals if you have those. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to peel those off. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do on here. And oops. there's a couple steps on this one just to make your life easy. Here's a little tip tricker technique. Um, my friend Chris, who's up in Michigan, um, she calls it a triple threat. The trick tip 
or technique. So a triple threat is what she calls it. This is your triple threat on it to make it easy. And I always have to go back through and make sure I got all of them off. Okay, I did, and I set it over here. Hold on a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Let me find. <laughs> well, you're going to want your silicone mat. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. They're only like six bucks. Trust me, you need this thing. We're going to set this one on here like this, and we're going to go ahead and grab our adhesive. And my fast fuse is what I was using, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my fast fuse on the back here. And on the fast fuse, when you do this, and then a little piece in the center so it stays, I'm going to put it down here on the silicone pad. This doesn't stick. That's why you use your silicone pad. Okay, everybody understand that? So I've got that here. This is all taken off. Um, do I like that side? Which side? There's my five, so I know this is my top. And there it is down there. So what I'm going to do is my five is up here. So I'm flipping it. So my five is now down here on the bottom. My five is up here. So I'm going to flip that and see how this is sticky. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to center it in here. You can see how I made that a little bit smaller. That way then it doesn't stick out from the card. And then my card base that I have right here that's already scored. Because the adhesive is on it and it's already lumpy bumpy, makes it very easy because it's very hard to put adhesive on that. Make sure your card opens up the right way and then all I'm going to do is eyeball this and make it about center on there. See? And we're not done yet, but how fast and easy was that? You guys are more than welcome to give me some thumbs up or some love if you like this. I love this card. This is just so pretty. Then what else I did was I grabbed, it was a scrap, but it's a one inch piece set that aside there and I grabbed my oh thank you look at all those hearts oh my gosh you guys I just love you thank you again we're needing the flirty flamingo and I'm using the wishing you the best and I don't know if you guys can see up here I always put what color they need on here so this one is flamingo and makes it much easier for classes so we're inking that one up and then on here we're just going to kind of eyeball it in the center press down and there I've got my wishing you all the best. So I'm going to go ahead and put that stamp back. I'm going to close this up because otherwise I will put my fingers right into the center of it. Then you're going to grab your snips. Now we do sell a punch that you can do that makes the banners on the sides of it. If you have that, that is absolutely wonderful. I love that punch. My mom has it. I do not because it's like $18, I think, or $20. I keep finding other things that I want instead, and I figure I can use this with my scissors. To cut a banner, to make it easier, you just cut up the center like this, and then you take your scissors out, your snips, and you go from this point up to where your cut is. So you go like this to here. See how that comes out like that? And then you do the other side as well. And that way then it makes it a little bit more even. Again, another tip, trick, or technique. When the ladies all came, or I'm sorry, I had a gentleman on Saturday too. When they came, I went over this again because I had a couple new ladies. Uh, the gentleman already knew this because he's uh, part of our card ministry at the church. And he and his lovely wife come all the time and they are just fabulous. So they already know everything. I keep trying to get them to join my team because he would be absolutely wonderful. And it's so funny, he used to be a school superintendent and uh, he actually has his PhD. So he's a doctor. And just the nicest, uh, lovely gentleman you've ever met. So there, I've got my wishing you the best. And let me pull back out the sample. See this sample right here? Now, they did that in a blue color, and I'm not sure whether that was balmy blue or... Um, um, I'm guessing it was the balmy blue would be my guess on that one. But I wanted to use Flirty Flamingo. But see, it went right across, and they scored it right here. So it has a little pop-up for the, the banner. Well, I didn't want to do that. So here's the one that I did, and using the thinlets, anybody ever reuse these? These are the embellishment things, so I hold on to mine, and that way then they have them right here. And we're just going to take up two of those. My mom, like I said, was here, so bless her heart, she did all my big shot work. Love my mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On this, I'm just going to take my wishing you the best, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of adhesive here on the top and here on the bottom. So that way then, that's exactly where they are. Grab back my silicone mat again. I'm just going to set that up there because I know my 
glue is about here and I'm just going to kind of put that there and then down here do the same thing set that down my glue is right there and then this one I'm just going to kind of go hmm I think what do you think about there ah, it's cutting off that one yeah that's okay we'll do that there so now they're both on there but they're still a little sticky if you have never done this before you're going to put some dimensionals on it I keep this anybody else know this this is an old I mean like I don't know 1970s type of Tupperware maybe 80s I keep baby powder in it and I keep a q-tip in it just so that way then it is easy to go here oh my phone's ringing of course so all you do is you put the there you go you put the glue onto that or the powder onto it and see how the powder is on there what I do is I tell people put that on and then lean it over onto my carpet and blow so that way then it takes care of the adhesive so now it's no longer sticky I put that back in I put this here and all is well there now I'm going to grab my dimensionals Oops. there we go Alrighty, so I'm going to grab my dimensionals and it looks like I've got full ones here so I'm going to put one here one there in the center and one on the end just simply to put them on there however you want to do it that's totally up to you so I've got those I'll peel those off and there we go move that out of the way now here's the one that I did and it went right across and when my mom did hers the other day she was like I don't want to cover up the flowers they're so pretty I kind of agree with her on that my mom's got a really good eye but if I put it down here it's going to cover one up if I put it up here it's going to cover it up it's just going to cover it up that's just how it's going to work on here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up a little bit so it doesn't cover up the flowers as much and I'm just going to put that there at about center press it down and there I've got a very nice and easy card you saw how fast it went together everybody saw how fast this was it is just a pretty card it's a pretty stamp set it's a wonderful set of thinlets and again here is the stamp set oh, I have those backwards one of two and two of two is here that right there is the flower that we just used you know Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps so I don't anticipate this selling out guys this is not available to the general public to customers until August 1st but the thinlets we don't make our own thinlets on here I and I told all of my ladies and I probably could have sold this 10 times over over the weekend but I wanted them to play with it and see how it worked because on the 1st of August I want to make sure they can order this and get it in their hands these stitched framelits or they're not stitched framelits they're called stitched seasons framelits these are the best thing I'm not kidding you guys these are so pretty you saw how it did there and how it did like that oh I wanted to show you what I'm gonna now my friend Betty is watching so my friend Betty is watching right now what I did was I took this and I scored it right across and what I did was I grabbed my coffee cafe and I put happiness as a cup of coffee and when you flip it over shared with a friend and inside are those purulines and some instant Starbucks on here the Vias my team is called the Latte Joy Stampers and Saturday it's called a Latte Retreat so they're gonna get this so Betty if you're watching this act surprised when you see this and if I forget to give it make sure you holler at me and say Dawn Dawn don't forget to give me that so that way you guys have a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of coffee but this is such a great set you guys are absolutely gonna love it remember only available for demonstrators right now or you can get it as part of your starter kit if you are interested in joining my team and getting those free stamp pads that's a sixty seven dollar and fifty cent for the oh thank you whoever gave me the heart thank you I love that if you're interested in joining now is really a great time to join if you're just interested in placing an order this is the host code my website is up there and you will receive this as your thank you card for this month for the month of July if I start to run out with the uh, flirty flamingo you might get a different color but right now I have about 10 of these so um, I'm hoping for the first 10 orders to give you a flirty flamingo after that you'll probably have a different color so I hope you guys have enjoyed this please feel free to share this this is oh thank you I love all those hearts feel free to share this I'm not kidding you guys 
I'm excited about the new catalog. It's just such a pretty catalog anyway. But this stamp set, and with it only being available for a month, demonstrators get it for two months. I always say mere mortals only get it for a month. This is just so fun. I hope you have enjoyed it. Feel free to share this. Feel free to share it with your friends and your customers if you're a demonstrator on here. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you guys next week on Sunday at 7 p.m. This is the only time I'm going to show this one. So please make sure you do share it. I hope you guys have a great week. Have a wonderful time. Thank you guys for sharing the love. I love that. Thank you. Bye-bye now.